not that grace is offered and withdrawn. Grace is always on. Sometimes you receive, sometimes you don't receive. You are not the beggar, the guru is the beggar. Do you understand? A guru means a despicable human being <laughs> constantly waiting that somebody will receive him. <laughs> just a few people, just a few receive him. Rest, they talk many things. They keep telling you, I love you, I love you, but they sit like walls. It's quite a despicable human being, this guru is. You are not like that, you have a choice either to receive him or to throw him out. He is constantly waiting, somebody will receive him. <laughs> not that it makes any difference for him whether you receive or you don't receive. But because it's like… Uh, it's like air, you know, it's like oxygen. It makes no difference for oxygen whether you inhale or you don't inhale. But still, you can stop inhalation. It may kill you but you can still stop it and not allow the oxygen to enter you, isn't it? This is just like that. Always it's there. It's not that it's on and off. It's always there. It is just a question of how willing you are when you're open, when you're not. So, if you want to be open all the time, I could put a hole in you that you can't close. Shall I? Yes. See, don't say yes to things that you don't know what it is about. If I put a hole in you, huh? <laughs> You're not saying yes. Now, if I put a hole in you and let this thing pass through you all the time, nothing of you will be left, only I will be. Many people have become like that. Many people have become like that, nothing of them is left anymore. Now they started thinking like me, feeling like me, planning like me, doing things like me. I didn't hypnotize them, I didn't train them, nothing, but nothing of them is left. Because as you demolish the limited, nothing of you is bound to be left, isn't it? Yes? That's your intention too, but you don't allow it to happen. See, it's like this. Right now, let us say I am chained to this… let's say this is a rock, I am chained to this rock. If I am chained to this rock, now if I call this rock my God, I am not going to break it, nor am I going to dissolve it, isn't it? Once I say this is precious, I am not going to dissolve it. Only if I see this as a bondage, I want to break it. Right now, everything that you call as myself is a certain limitation, is it so? Is it so? But you have fallen in love with your limitations, you have enshrined your limitations. How will they go? If you see a limitation as limitation, only then it can go, isn't it? If there is dirt on your hands, if you see it as dirt, you can wash off your hands. If you see it as gold, can you wash off it, wash off your hands? Will you? No, it's just like that. Your personality, your ideas, your beliefs, your opinions, if you just see all this as absolute nonsense, you'll… you'll want to wash it off. When you attach so much value to it, how will you wash it off? You will not wash it off, isn't it? This is like putting the anchor and going on rowing the boat. You put the anchor and row the boat and row the boat and row the boat. Morning becomes afternoon, after afternoon becomes evening, evening becomes night, scenery is changing. So you can believe I am going somewhere, I am going somewhere. I am telling you, you are not going anywhere. You are not going to go anywhere in your life. 
But again, summer becomes autumn, autumn becomes winter, winter becomes spring. Really you can believe I am going somewhere because everything is changing. But you are not going anywhere. With anchor down, you are not going anywhere, isn't it? If you want to go somewhere, even before you row, first thing that you do is pull the anchor in. Then just the river will take you. Even if you don't row the boat, just the river will take you. So if you take away the anchor, boat will go. River going to the ocean will happen, boat going to the ocean also will happen, isn't it? This way or that. If you row hard, you'll go a little faster. But without pulling the anchor, you are not going to go anywhere.